Let's just state this clearly for the record. I am of the opinion that if you decide that you want to storm a wrestling ring at a wrestling show, or think that you can take on one of the wrestlers, even if you could, you deserve whatever consequences come your way. Now, if you get roughed up by security really quickly, good. You deserve it. If you actually get there to the wrestlers and they beat the brakes off of you like Eddie Guerrero style, good. You freaking deserved it. If there is a fan, not a participant. I understand the confusion that the biggest marks of all involving professional wrestling nowadays are the marks in the ring, not the marks that pay to come in. I get the confusion, but let's not get it twisted here. You're still ultimately paying to go to a show. People aren't going there to watch you become a freaking participant. You deserve to get roughed up or whatever the consequences are for your actions. Like you put other people at risk, you put other people in a situation where they feel unsafe, I feel no sympathy. What I don't like though, is what I'm starting to see kind of coming out about this fan that tried to storm the ring Wednesday on Dynamite and apparently, allegedly, this clown has went to Twitter and said, Hey, I did it for you, Cornette and Brian Last, and da 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 Doing it for the real wrestling fans. And, of course, the marks, both on the internet, outside of wrestling, and the marks on the internet inside of the wrestling business, and specifically AEW, are certainly getting worked up about this. And you see Kenny Omega has taken to basically blaming Jim Cornette in his words for the actions of a fan. Now look, there are a lot of reasons you can point to Jim Cornette in saying that he's out of touch in a lot of ways in terms of professional wrestling. His word choices and some of the things that he says certainly teeter the line and quite a number of times over the years and in recent years especially when it comes to certain individuals involved with AEW and wrestling as a whole, you know, Kenny Omega is certainly not excluded from that. You, know, you could say that he goes too far or he's reckless, and I don't disagree with that assessment. But where it really starts to get dangerous here is where we start using this as an excuse to blame Jim Cornette or anybody else that happened to be in that position because of this fan and this fan's idiotic actions. Like, I even responded to Kenny Omega about this. Like, I expect the Bucks of Suck and Cody and Jericho to be the whiny, insecure jerks that they are. They've proven themselves to be. They want to be immune from criticism. They can't handle it. They can't accept it. I at least look to Kenny Omega and say, you know, you're the world champion. Freaking act like it. You're the world champion. I view you at least, as much as I'm not a fan of some of the things that you do, I at least look at Kenny Omega and I say, you know what? I think he's a little different than those guys. I don't think he's quite so consumed with being accepted by everybody. I don't think he's quite so insecure about himself to where he's totally immune from the criticism. Although sometimes I question and based off of responses, yeah, I kind of wonder a little bit. I can't lie here. Because to sit there and try to spin this as this is Cornette's fault or these are Cornette's words that led to this idiot, idiotic dope actions to me, that's really reckless and it's a low hanging fruit and I see through the bullshit. Because if we really want to talk about this, what led to this fan's actions? You know, where was security for this? You could say, well, security responded quickly. How did the fan ever get across in, into the ringside area to begin with? That immediately in and of itself speaks to a security failure. Did the arena sell alcohol? If so, how much had the guy had to drink? Is it the alcohol's fault? Is it the arena's fault for selling him alcohol to the point where maybe he had too much or he didn't fucking handle it and that led to him thinking that this was la rational, logical behavior? Is this a situation where we look at this and we say, you know, does this guy have some type of mental health condition or something along those lines? Like, there's so many things you can point to that could potentially be reasons that this guy did what he did or he was just doing it because he was a fucking attention whore and thought it would be funny. And thought it would be funny to work everybody by shouting out Cornette and so forth. Who knows? I don't know. You don't know. But apparently everybody that's involved with AEW and likes to sheet for this damn company and its wrestlers sure as hell wants to believe that's the case. We're going to blame Jim Cornette because he's so vocally critical of AEW and Kenny Omega and some of the guys like that. 
that this fan did it to please him. That's stupid. Like, is it Jodie Foster's fault that John Hinckley Jr. tried to assassinate President Reagan in 1981 because he wanted to impress her? Of course fucking not. Now, it's a slightly different situation, I'll grant you, because it's not like Jodie Foster that I could recall, at least publicly in 1981, was saying a bunch of crazy stuff and saying a bunch of things criticizing the new president at the time. But still, there's enough there. Like, at what point in time do you look at that individual fan and say, this motherfucker needs to be held responsible and accountable for his own damn actions? I mean, if I didn't know any better, I'd almost feel like this was all a plant and a ruse. Like, of all the things that this fan a couple of days later is randomly going to do, he's going to go out there and tweet this shit and shout out Cornette about what he did for all of us real wrestling fans? Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd almost think, if we want to go conspiracy shit here, I'd almost think this was something cooked up by Khan or Omega or somebody involved with AEW to try and deflect away some of the criticism. Because here's where it gets really dangerous. And it does get really dangerous. This AEW fan base has a very cult-like mentality. You absolutely do. And if you can't see that, that's not my problem. That's yours. There's nothing wrong with you enjoying AEW. There's nothing wrong with you loving AEW. But on the one hand, you're going to sit there and a lot of you are going to send out death threats to anybody that dares to criticize anything involving AEW, whether that be the AEW Botches account, myself, many others, all experience that shit. But now all of a sudden, because this guy shout out Cornette, you said, Cornette needs to watch his words and he needs to watch what he says. Now we start getting to the point of, you can't criticize anything involving AEW, because if you do... That's a problem. And you le help create this environment and the situation that leads to an individual idiotic fan's actions. Like wrestling thinks it's the only freaking sport that's had this problem with fans post-COVID and as the fans are coming back to the arenas with fans going out there and storming the freaking thing. Like the other day you just had a fan sit there at the Scottish Open and take a golf club straight out of Rory McIlroy's bag. You had fans at NBA games going and doing all this crap. But wrestling thinks it's so different and so special. Who the fuck's to blame there? Those individual people are. Because it's their decision, their actions, their choices of what they do or don't do at the end of the day. Doesn't excuse every single thing that Jim Cornette has said. No, it doesn't. I'm totally with you there. But at some point in time, at some point in time, logical, reasonable thinking needs to prevail here. And you start saying, you can't criticize AEW. Because if you do, it could lead to people that follow you or listen to you or watch you taking that and doing something else with it. Man, oh man, you want to talk about a communist fucking environment, there you fucking go. We're not going to have any criticism. We're not going to have any dissenting voices. It's all going to be towing the company line. That's cult shit. And we should be better than that. It's a low-hanging fruit to blame an old out of touch clown like Cornette for somebody's individual actions. And you got all these other factors that could have led to it, but of course, because Kenny Omega wants to sit there, like Kenny Omega knew what the fuck he was doing. Just like some of these other guys with AEW. Like if I, don't, if I remember correctly, wasn't it just recently that Joey Janela, didn't he tweet that he found it funny that the AEW botches account was getting death threats? So like if somebody had actually went out and attempted physical harm, on the person overseeing the AEW Botches account, would Joey Janela then be responsible? I'm just saying. Like, if you're going to hold the standard, let's fucking hold the standard consistently across the board. I know some of the shit Cody did with me a couple of years ago. And not the only one. Certainly. We should be avoiding things like this. Because it is too easy to deflect the blame and go for an easy target. And don't get me wrong, Cornette absolutely is an easy target. And some of that is of his own doing. Absolutely. But now we're getting to the point of, well, because he criticizes the company. And look, I know Cornette has said some really dumb, ignorant, and at times racist shit over the years. You're absolutely right about that. I am not here to dispute that. Let me repeat that because people don't like to listen sometimes. There are things that he has said that are unacceptable, out of bounds, and he should absolutely been put on blast for and has been put on blast for. But if you could point to me where he specifically said that he wants his fans to go out there 
and freaking attack the ring. If you are telling me that there are specific examples of where he said, I want fans to go attack MJF or Chris Jericho. I want them to attack the wrestlers in AEW. Then it's a different conversation. I think you talk about some strongly worded criticism, sometimes some poor word choices, etc. But sometimes that's the nature of the fucking beast. And sometimes people just need to stop being so goddamn overly sensitive about everything. Criticism's in play until it criticizes something that I'm about or I like, then it's a fucking problem. This guy could have sat there and said, I did it because of God and God told me to do it. Then what? You gonna blame God for it? It's his fault, right? Duh. Look. To me, I thought it was kind of slick and smart by Kenny Omega to take this and create a situation where he could turn some of the heat on Cornette and his followers and sit there and say, you know what, yeah, this is what you get for criticizing me and the almighty AEW, blah, 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 blah. I just wish we could get to a place where people acted more rationally and logically. Um, you know, there could be other people that do YouTube or other podcasts that may absolutely detest me, and I'm sure they do, and probably merit it in some cases. In some cases, they're fucking idiots. You know, it could be both. You know, but they could sit there and talk about how they don't like me or they hate me or anything else. But if somebody decided they wanted to attack me or come do me harm in some way, like, unless they specifically said, I want you to do this to him, I want you to do that to him. You know, they could say these strongly worded things, but at the end of the day, it's still the individual responsibility. Now, there's a piece of knowing that, hey, sometimes when you say some things, people are going to take it a certain way, but you can't. Like, that shouldn't be our, res our responsibility, ultimately, in a lot of ways. It just should. People should be accountable for their own shit. People should take responsibility for it. We should not be seeking out to basically suppress any dissenting voices because we don't like what they have to say. And that's to me what this kind of comes across as. Hate Cornette all you want. He probably deserves it. But to me, it's more about what it represents. It represents an easy target, avoiding these other things that could have just as easily, if not more so, been truly truly appropriately the cause of what led to the fan doing this, the guy could have just been a freaking idiot seeking attention. Did that ever register with anybody? And all the while he tweeted to Cornette knowing the shitstorm it was going to cause. Like, you don't know. But because Kenny Omega and others are jumping in on it, you automatically assume. Like, again, I'm disappointed in Kenny because you're the world champion of a major company. Who you know, if we want to talk about responsibility for their words and their actions, you know goddamn good and well, Kenny, how rabid and cult-like some of your following and some of your fans are. You're not new to this. You know the game. You've peaked the score. You know how they act. And you know that also then your words have actions that could result from them, right? Right? That your words could have consequences, right? Of course not. It's fucking different because you're the freaking victim here. Bunch of wusses, man. Like, no. One random fan. Like, let me put it this way. A few years ago, wasn't it Bret Hart that got attacked at the Hall of Fame? Is that the fan of fault of rabid Shawn Michaels fans that have shit on Bret Hart over the years talking about how they liked HBK better? Of course not! That's one random van doing one random stupid ass thing! Can't sit there and be looking to blame all these other forces or factors. Put the accountability squarely where it belongs in this case. The fan wanted attention. He wanted to be made famous. I guess he got his 15 minutes. The only regret is that Jericho and MGF didn't get their hands on him more to give him the the treatment that he apparently really richly wanted and truly deserved. Stop blaming Cornette or other critics for crap like that. That's weak. So the next time, because you know what's going to happen, the next time a fan storms a WWE ring, we're going to blame AEW fans because they've been highly critical of, a of WWE? Is that how we're going to play this game? See how treacherous that is? See how dangerous that is? See how much of a slippery slope that is? Should be able to criticize things you don't like or things that you think could be better without having to be worried about it being put on you when somebody does something really stupid.